All right, so first step, go into your start windows, go to your computer, right click on computer, go to manage. I'm going to try and slow it down. Go to disk management, single click disk management. If you double click, you will have to manually stop the program. Uh, maximize it so you can see what you're doing. You want to go to the OSC drive. You can either access it from the top menu or at the bottom menu. Click to select, right click to access, go to shrink volume. change you want to cut that in half so half of that for you is nine hundred and twenty nine thousand four hundred and forty four nine right there enter the number then hit shrink I'm slowing down because I could do it he probably knows how to do this anyways. So now you have unallocated data right in this section. So you want to click on the unallocated data, right click, new simple volume, next, leave that the same as you changed it, next. You want to put it in the F drive, Every, leave everything like it is, next. You want an NTFS, you want the unit size defaulted, and you want to turn the label into video storage. Hit next. Finish. If you watch here, it'll format, and then you have half of the C drive is going to be video storage. The other half will be used to record. I've already labeled before I started this video, video storage on D drive. So the whole D drive will be labeled. You'll just right click, format, and in format you can change it to video storage, but you want to format, not just change name. That way it erases any data that might be on it. If you read there, formatting this volume will erase data on it. Hit OK, it formats. You're, you're done. It's partitioned exactly how it needs to be for Max Pro. Now, I've already installed the Max Pro CD, so after putting the CD in, you'll come out of all this. Start menu. Con go back to computer. Do not double click your E drive to run setup. Select, right click. Open in new window. <clears throat> Inside this, go into your prerequisites. Double click prerequisites. Go to VC 2005 latest. Double click to install. VC redi redistribution basically, 86. Double click to install. Yes. It'll extract the files. It'll download C++ 2005 redistributable. <clears throat> yes. This part does not take long at all once you know how to do it. I would like to send a special thank you to the video man, Rusty Phillips. His <laughs> arms are breaking. Suck it up, man. It says zero seconds, but obviously that's a lie. You can close it out and go back in if you want to. I would just hit the back button. The next, the next and last file you want to download is Bonjour. Double click. 
Now you're running a 64-bit system, so obviously you want to choose Bonjour 64. If it was 32-bit, you would just go regular Bonjour. So on the 64-bit system, double click. It'll extract, install, next. You want to accept the agreement. And then you want to, as an administrator, install. Yes. Even though it says Apple, just hit yes. And finish. All right. Now, you can either go back, I exit all the way out. It'll pull this, get to your computer. Now you want to run the Max Pro DVD or the CD to download the software. Double click. Yes. Now the setup will let it'll you want to hit yes. This is just downloads. And now it'll let you actually go in and, and install the software. Otherwise, you would get a fail for C++ 2005 redistributable. Even though it's supposed to download automatically, you have to do it manually or it will not work. Next, you want to accept the license agreement. Now, I changed this to MoneyGram because obviously we're registered to MoneyGram and the company name is MoneyGram. Next, leave this at C drive for the 86. Next. Now, this is where we're at LS8, obviously, but it will auto load that. You still want to enter your Windows login, which is admin for this computer. I'll just put admin and default across the board. Enable auto logon. You want to have that on. That way when the customer opens their Max Pro, it will log in automatically through Windows on local networks. Next, you want to ex check the full installation to make sure that it's selected. Next. All right. Fresh installation. Next. SQL Express servers. No login ID, no password. Go ahead and hit next because we're using win Windows authentication. Hang in there, Pops. It's almost done with the first CD. We're not going to do the second. I'm just doing... Mm -hmm. The video's shaky. His blood sugar's high. He just ate ice cream. I didn't eat no ice cream. We didn't get any. Oh. Okay. You want to choose the path. You want to use C, C drive again. Next. Now, in here, it will already be selected, but you want to make sure that your recording devices, your rec recording drives, we're not going to record on the C drive. We're going to use that so it runs smooth. We're going to send it to the D the F and the Y. The Y is not shown on the disk management side. You actually have to do a search for that, but know that it is there. So we want to focus on the two drives that we, we created partition F for video storage and we're using D as video storage. Leave C open. Hit next. Next. All right, now right here it'll tell you the time. Approximate time to install prerequisites are 28 minutes. Approximate time to install Max Pro NVR products is 43. Combined total is going to be one hour, basically. This is for the first CD. You have to do in the CD pack Max Pro top right up here is. 0.70 C it's too blurry for you to see but you want to use the first one which is 65 C next 
after doing this you can do 75 and I'll have to walk you or make a video for that also next if you hit if next is highlighted but not selected you'll hit it and you'll hear the little chirp from the Dell computer that means it is doing it don't worry and then it's pretty much going to take an hour from this point till you go to your next disk and this is all computer time you can I mean you you can't do anything about this now I have auto restart enabled also so while it's downloading it'll restart the computer as needed so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch over to another computer and hopefully it'll be further along in the process and I can kind of show you what it's doing Pause it. No, don't pause it. Well, I can't move this much longer. I know, it's almost done. So see, and there, right here, I haven't selected this. You're going to run across this. The Dell Precision Optimizer, I keep hitting remind me later I guess you can hit do not remind me and remember to do it later uh, I'm gonna go ahead on this one and do not remind me uh, just remember that we can use the precision optimizer but really I don't think it does any good when switching to an MVR okay okay and then it'll finish installing and again this is partitioning the system labeling video storage for the D, the F, the C drive, and installing the first CD.